A lot of kids feel pressured to grow up quickly. TV, movies, and music seem to celebrate, at times worship, men and women in their late teens or early 20s. Members of this age group are more often the protagonists in books, movies, and the arts. Sadly, smart writing about a kid younger than 12 or an adult older than 55 are rare in scripts. There's a saying by parents who have a 13-year-old who acts and dresses like she's much older. She's 13 going on 23. It's often true that kids don't seem to savor childhood or rejoice in the simplicity of wonder and play. If I ask a 13-year-old what they like to do when they have free time and who they like to play with, I'll be met with a look that says, play? I don't play, I hang out. Parents will bring their adult son into therapy and ask me how they can get their son or daughter to take it down a bit and to not act five years older and feel okay being just who they are. When I talk to the young adolescent, it can be painfully obvious that they want to be seen and treated as older, smarter, and more worldly than they can possibly be, like a veneer of pseudo-sophistication. These 12, 13, and 14-year-olds will either try to impress using big words or dress in half-mannerism of a person well past high school. I would never call them out on this. Why would I? If a young person needs a defense, there's a probably a good reason. Mocking or ridicule only serves to make this person more defended, guarded, and emotionally vulnerable. Of course, I let them misuse words or make comments about issues they know little about. It would be like ripping down the curtain from The Wizard of Oz, revealing not a giant, all-knowing person, but a short, pudgy, bald guy who feels the need to speak in a deep, baritone voice that projects omnipotence and power. If a person needs for me to see them as omnipotent and powerful, it's not my place to say they are none of those things. What I've learned from so many of these pre- and newly adolescent boys and girls is a strong need for the affection and nurturance they feel ill-equipped or unable to ask for. It may not be cool to ask to put your head on your mom's shoulder, Yet, as the parents are telling me about their adolescent, they mention their son or daughter still likes to watch cartoons, have someone read to them, or sleep in the same room as mom and dad. Some also will mention a stuffed toy or blanket their adolescent still prizes. If your son or daughter is 13 going on 23, don't panic. Understand the incredible pressures that exist for them to be older, not unlike the pressures us parents feel to be younger. Most of all, don't be afraid to give a hug that is met with a no thank you stare or offer to watch a show the two of you the two or you used to watch together. They may not ask for it, but assume your son or daughter's need for nurturance has not gone away. It's just in hiding.